and the Regulated Professionals Health and Social Care Amendment Bill 2019. I am happy to speak in this bill here this evening, uh, Karen Corla. And the Minister, I have to say, in fairness to you, in health, uh, we met you today earlier, deputation from Tipperary, and in it, mental health, especially in that area, you are um, doing your best and you have good bona fides, and I welcome that. Pity you weren't the senior minister. Uh, this bill amends uh, the five health professions regulatory acts, in particular in relation to fitness to practice and registration. And it's more on true, Rod, you know, Shin, um, like, it's so disappointing and so, um, you know, sad when we see people, you know, who haven't the proper qualifications or, uh, worse, uh, as bad as that, then uh, make mistakes and do um, carry out different procedures and are not quite qualified on qualification or haven't the, 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 the experience or indeed whatever they need. So we must try and tidy up this area. The key amendments include, Minister uh, Ibrahim, applicants for registration must declare on application and annually thereafter, which is very important, any convictions or sanctions imposed on their practice by a regulatory body inside or outside the state. And I think that's very, very, very important, because in such a mobile you know, um, universe now, where people move from state to state and ease of access and everything else, it's vital that we must look outside the state also. Uh, disciplinary, uh, number two, disciplinary inquiries in other jurisdictions can be used as admissible evidence in fitness to practice proceedings in Ireland. All sections uh, will be published to ensure the public has access to information about disciplinary sanctions imposed on doctors, nurses, uh, midwives, pharmacists and other regulated health professionals. And if there are three, uh, pract practitioners will have the right to appeal to the High Court where, when minor uh, sanctions of um, advice, admonishment or censure in writing has been imposed on a practitioner. Currently, there is no right of appeal for these three sanctions. And I think, in fairness, in, in, in any justice system, there must be a right of appeal. And we can't have you know, a situation like that. Uh, cursory uh, justice, we must have a right to appeal, and I accept that as well as a good um, amendment. All of these strike me as perfectly reasonable amendments. We must have a strong and robust protections. We must have strong and robust protections uh, for the public, while they are generally um, excellently served by the quality of our doctors and healthcare professionals. Sometimes uh, do experience horrendous levels of care, and we can't lose sight of that either, uh, Minister. That may, for the vast majority, are well served the public, and uh, generally the excellence is served by, by uh, quality of our doctors and health professionals and nurses and frontline staff. And you know, <clears throat> the, the few bad apples, for whatever reason, in any any battle, can cause an awful rush, and it's the, it's the um, ensuing consequences. And I have to say, the eagerness of the illegal eagles to get involved in many cases, overzealously as well. Some cases where there's bad malpractice, and we have it like the case of, of, of like the case of, of um, the situation with the uh, cervical smear. That's mainly not uh, clinicians, but it was, uh, it's, 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 it's systems failures. The tarnish was trying to explain today about systems failures, um, you know, in the HGC, in, in the Children's Hospital. The system fails every minute of every hour, of every day, of every week, of every month each year uh, with its, this uh, uh, monopoly or monstrosity of HSE. It's just too big to handle and to function properly. When I said, Minister, you're doing your best to craft in there with us, but you know, we even saw today and there were all excellent people in the room at that meeting. There's so many different aspects and design teams and, 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 and the people running and managing it and whatever. It's really impossible to move and forward. Nearly impossible, just too slow. We had a case like today where we had um, you know, an approval for 2.2 2 million of a, of a, of a, of a building uh, unit, and now it's, with, 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 with inflation, this 2015 has gone to 2.5 or 6. I must go back for approval for that. I know you'll push it and do your best, but I mean, that's, that surely to God, they must know on these approvals they should be able to index link them and have them ready for fit for purpose, not going back to drawing boards all the time. We must have. Um, we must have strong and robust uh, pr prosecutions, as I said, and we must um, have uh, accountability above all, uh, above all accountability. And 
Only recently um, we read the, uh, the President of the High Court has struck off a radiographer after it being satisfied um, that she, this accord, uh, is a danger to the public. My goodness. Due to her substandard knowledge of the basics of radiography. We all are sent for x-rays. I mean, our children are sent and our parents are sent and siblings. We expect to have a competent person. But, but well done to the High Court here and well done to the Justice for quoting that and putting in the public domain a danger to the public due to our substandard knowledge and the basics of radiography. I'd love to know who interviewed her. I'd love to know how she got through the process and got through the uh, situation. They got into that x-ray room and was unable to read those x-rays. It's appalling. Lack of, like we have managers. One time we had a mate run the hospital, and by God, no one fooled her. No one. And the place was clean, it was tidy, and patients were looked after, and everything was done right. And no one crossed her either. And it was done. Now we have, we have area managers, ward managers, floor managers, bed managers, linen managers, hygiene managers, and places not even clean, food managers. And I have only half of them there. All going around flip charts. And these people can send you up for x-ray, and this is my thoughts. I remember going to Cashel Hospital, Mary T, and she's uh, deceased now, and you knocked on the door, and you got your x-ray back up to the doctor. But now you have to go to all these uh, receptions and areas and whatever. We're just bureaucratic nightmares. Instead of letting the work be done and make sure that people don't have competent to do it. Mr Justice Peter Kelly said the case of the person involved and who worked for a short period in 2017 at University Hospital in Waterford, my own area, UHW, before she was let go, once again um, underlined his concerns about the procedures for recruiting professionals to work in hospitals. That's not my words, but I have those concerns. The words of Peter Kelly, uh, the Indian High Court Justice. So it's absolutely vital that we do all that we can uh, to, to create a healthcare environment where people can trust, who, which, which, where people can trust and have certainty around the expertise of those they are being treated by. That's a basic prerequisite. I would like to state, however, that it is also clear that not only can healthcare professionals be a threat to the public, but so can the health system itself, and so we know that. We know that last year, the Irish Association of Emergency Medicine, IAEM, issued uh, the dire warning up to 350, that up to 350 people will die uh, needlessly in hospital emergency departments next year, unless Health Minister Simon Harris definitely addresses the trolley crisis. And it's got worse. And the teacher told us yesterday, didn't about it last year or the year before. I mean, my county is appalling. CUH last week was nearly closed down. People get two and a half hours in the street after falling a man because eight hospitals held up in CUH. So what are the sanctions we want to place for the minister when, through lack of action, he also um, he allows a scenario to continue where hundreds of unnecessary deaths may be occurring? That's a shocking statistic. We're not in a war. But my God, uh, when you look at the a and it's like a war situation. If we're here today seeking uh, to hold the doctors to account, then the same should obviously apply to the minister, who has overall responsibility for the health service. But now he can squirm and he can go on 6 one news on his own yesterday even to try and account for something that's unaccountable, too. And we have our colleagues in Fianna Fáil giving them a pass. Come in here and criticise them every day, and deputy being all mad and others. But yet, they came to the vote no conference, sat on their hands. We'll have to get therapists in here to fix their hands from sitting on them before this government is finished, because they're so a good job the seats are soft and are getting hurt, but they'll be definitely badly damaged and won't be unable to press those buttons when the time comes. Such carry on is unbelievable. And responsibility to the people don't matter. This kind of can is going on and no minister held accountable. Thank you, Senator.